Day 141, physics, electrical resistance, calculating electrical resistance in circuits. And resistance is basically what the word says it is, something that resists or slows down or inhibits, in this case, inhibiting the movement of electric charge, specifically electrons in a circuit. And light bulbs are a type of resistor. There's all kinds of types of resistors. Light bulbs slow down or resist electrons as they move through or try to move through a light bulb, and it creates friction, heat, and light as a result. These are other types of resistors. These little canister ones here with these stripes on them are called carbon resistors. They have carbon as well as some other things inside there that change their resistive values. In a few days, we're going to learn how to decipher or decode what the stripes mean, the colors, gives that the value of those carbon resistors. The two on the right over here, I'm not sure what's inside those, but those are styles of resistors. They're not carbon resistors. Mathematically down here, R, which stands for resistance, is equal to delta V, which is voltage, potential difference, over current. So that's the equation we'll be using, where delta V, delta V is the voltage in volts, I is the current in amps, so resistance is volts over amps. But we have a name for that. It's called an ohm. It's down here on the bottom. I can't see it right now on my page, but you can see it. Uh, the um, unit for resistance then will be simplified to ohms. It's symbolized with like this upside-down horseshoe shape, the omega in the Greek language. So resistance will be in ohms. An ohm is a volt per amp. Now Ohm's law says that um, the resistance will stay constant for, for a circuit element. Sometimes it doesn't. All the things that we're going to be using loosely, well, these carbon resistors, we're going to be, we'll be using a lot of carbon resistors. And our carbon resistors are pretty good at following Ohm's law. They will stay fixed. If their resistance is 20 ohms, it'll stay at 20 ohms. Some of the light bulbs, not so good. The light bulb might start off at 5 ohms and then change to 8 ohms as it's being used and gets hotter. Its resistance changes, but we're not going to factor any of that in. We're going to assume that all our elements, even light bulbs, stay fixed. They follow Ohm's law. So once the, we know the resistance of a given element, whether it's 30 ohms or whatever it is, it's going to stay at 30 ohms. A lot of times we take this equation... R equals delta V over I, and rewrite it like this. This is just algebraically the same thing, just rewritten. Delta V equals I R. So we usually write the equation like that. Same equation, just reformulated. So a lot of times when it's written like that, it's called Ohm's Law, even though technically Ohm's Law is saying that R stays constant. So here are a couple of example problems and getting used to the vocabulary as well. Well, you can see over here to the left, once again, there's my, there's the symbol for resistance, ohm, which is a volt per amp. But over here on the right, we're just going to apply Ohm's law, the equation. Once again, the equation is usually called Ohm's law. And I always, almost always write it as V equals IR. You can leave off the delta, even though technically it's delta. V equals IR. So getting used to the vocabulary, it says, what is the resistance of a light bulb that draws 2.5 amps of current when connected to a 120-volt source? So it's a weird use of the word draw, but that's common vocabulary used in electric circuits. But I have 120 for my voltage, that's the typical unit, equals 2.5 times R. So this is a simple plug and chug, R comes out to be 48 ohms. All right. Once again, another basically plug and chug. It says, what is the current through an 18-ohm device if 50 volts is impressed across it? So once again, we're going to be getting used to this vocabulary, like impressed across it is uh, inference to the voltage. Simple, simple plug-in once again, V equals IR, where 50 volts equals I, we're looking for I, times 18. Make sure you're in ohms, which you are. So I, the current, is 2.8 amps. All 
All right, simple plug and chug. So at the bottom of the page here, some typical resistances of household items. Like, for example, a lamp cord is about one ohm typically. A light bulb, 100 ohms. A toaster, 15 ohms. Human body, 500,000 ohms. You're actually going to measure the resistance of your body in class in a few days. Uh, when you're wet, if you're covered with moisture, and once again, these are highly... Uh, these highly fluctuate, but like if you're, st this is why they say don't blow dry your hair in a bathtub or when you're standing by a pool, make sure you don't touch any or have be near any electrical outlets because water is um, uh, reduces your resistance to the flow of charge. So if you're wet, you can easily kill yourself if you're in your bathtub or in a pool and you accidentally get shocked by your outlet it'll kill you because you have less resistance, so more current flows through your body, basically killing you. Uh, many of you maybe have accidentally touched an outlet when you're dry, standing on dry ground with shoes on or whatever, and it doesn't feel good, but it doesn't kill you if you accidentally touch an outlet, the outlets that are in the walls, which are 120 volts. It typically doesn't hurt you. However, over, looking over here on the right, uh, Small amounts of current can be felt. 0 0.001 amps, that's one milliamp, can be felt. It gets painful going through your body, 0 0.005 milliamps, or 0 0.005 amps, 5 milliamps. Muscle spasms occur at 0 0.010 amps, and so on and so forth. Lack of muscle control. Uh, fatal if you get that much current through your heart for a second or more. Things, for example... Uh, that's why they always tell you, like, if there's a downed power wire, don't touch it. Uh, it. You touch it, you get some current through your body. And if you get enough current through your body, like if you touch a downed wire, it causes your muscles to tense up, and you won't be able to let go of the wire. So your muscles contract. Uh, you have this lack of muscle control. And that's why, um, once again, you don't touch a live wire because once you touch it, you can't let go. And... So in summary, resistance is the restriction or the slowing down of the movement of electric charge in circuits, and we can calculate resistance using Ohm's law or applying Ohm's law, V equals IR, technically delta V equals IR. Resistance is measured in ohms, voltage, delta V, is measured in volts, and current, symbolized with an I, is measured in amps.